minutes in, it's Del Vecchio. Wide open, right in front of the Sampdoria goal. His third goal of the Serie A season. Nice pass from the right flank by Tomasi. Sets Del Vecchio up for the goal. The one thing that Roma had not done in any of their attacking efforts until now has been to play the ball quickly. Once they get it into that attacking third, this is the tail end of a great one-touch pass that ultimately puts the ball for a tap in in front to Del Vecchio. The 26th minute into this game, Roma with the first payday at the foot of Del Vecchio, his third goal on the Serie A season. And if you ever talk about a timely goal, it comes from Tomasi, lays a great ball in behind Laegel and another Sampdoria defender. And that's an easy one there. Here's, here's a quick restart that went to the foot of Del Vecchio, one on one with Ferone to beat. He denies him, and then you he, see number 19, Virgasola, down the right flank, penetrating two Roma defenders. Ortega's cross is headed in, and Sampdoria have tied it up for Lazio. Doria came out in the second half. How Neri gets high on the end of this free kick restart as two Roma defenders don't even jump. Nothing in goal that Kimenti can do. As you see, both Franceschetti, number four, and number 11, Paul Neri, high for this ball. Cafu is standing. Cafu, Paulo Sergio, and I believe it's ultimately Candela that gets muscled away from the play. And Rick, that to me is an illustration. Left footed shot, it's there! Seth Dorian goes in the lead! Everybody expected Ortega to take the free kick, including Kimenti in goal for Roma. I believe it was number 14, Acopino, that took it. And when he does, nobody expects it. His left-footed... Pino with his left foot. Look at the rotation on the ball. Perfectly placed. Top corner near post. Acopino, brilliant free kick to give Sampdoria the lead. And certainly deceptive, a ball that was moving and it basically froze. Clemente. So Sampdoria have now powered into the lead. 